For this, I'll be using a mannequin head and also T pins. So here is the wig cap I'll be using for today's tutorial. This is the hair I'll be using for this. It's called Daniela. And um, for this, I'll be using about two packs of this particular hair. And if you're an OG, you already know that I love using this dumb cap. I don't really like to use the net cap wig cap because it easily gets torn. So that's why I really like to use this one. And for the fact that I have big head. <laughs> so that's why. And this can actually, it can literally size any shape or any size of head. Right now, I'm just using my T pins to just help secure the wig cap onto the wig mannequin head. <laughs> If your head is as small, you can just go ahead to use like a small size mannequin head. Uh, this is a size 23 uh, because I'm using this because my head is big. Or you can go ahead to use any mannequin head of your choice. Uh, this is the one I usually like to use or I've been using for a couple of months now. Once I'm done placing, I'm using this measuring tape uh, to just go ahead to mark out where I'll be or where I'm going to be stitching the hair or sewing in the weave ons or weft of the hair. So we go ahead to mark out about three lines at the back and then turn the mannequin head uh, to the front and then go ahead to mark out where I'm going to be closing the hair or where I'm going to be close doing the closing which is like the pattern. So we just go ahead to mark that out as well. So for the part I want it to be like about a uh, five inch deep. I really want the part to be really deep so that's why I'm making it five inch. I feel like when the part is deep it gives like a fine fitting moving on over to the back again i will just go ahead to like do another inch or add another inch at the back this is because of the style we're about to achieve so i just want to add up the straight or like the back line i just want to make them like about four usually sometimes i make it three but today i just want to make it about four because of the style we are going for Moving on right now to the front, I will just go ahead to just uh, rule out like a line from the part line down to the to like the ear side of the wig cap. So we'll be calling this part or this line, I'll be calling it a uh, line B. So this line B it's very very important because of the style we are going for again. So yeah, from there we'll just start drawing lines from the part a b line uh, down to the other side of the ear or down to the other side of the wig cap like so hi everyone welcome back again to the channel thank you so much for tuning into today's video how is everyone doing today this is a very detailed uh, video i advise you to watch the video from the beginning to the end so that you don't get to miss any single step if you are new here just go ahead to click on the subscribe button to join the family subscribe join the family and also so that uh you don't get to miss it anytime i upload a new video here so just go ahead and subscribe uh please share the video to friends and family give the video a big thumbs up and also leave a comment on what you think about this hairstyle and again since it's a side part i would love to add more hairs to where i have like enough space that's the right hand side so because of this reason i will just be drawing more lines and then this line i'm going to be adding i'm not going to extend it to the other side of the wig cap i'm just going to stop it at the middle part or the middle side uh we just uh, draw a line or rule a line from that uh, line b down to the middle part or down to the middle side of the wig cap you guys get what i mean this line is just going to be like a short short line it's not going to be extending all right anytime i do this a line the short line i will see would go ahead to do a long line that would i will rule from that line b straight down to the other side of the wig cap and then the next line would be the short line again and then the next line will be a long line hope you guys get it this is so that it can be able to cover up that's the long line can be able to cover up the short line because when i'm going to be sewing in i'm going to be doing like the turnover method so i will want that uh, long line to be able to cover up 
like to stitch it in such a way that it's able to cover up that turnover because the turnover is just going to be looking like off a little bit uh you guys will get to see how i'm going to install the hair so that's why i said just watch the video from the beginning to the end for this uh, long and short line we'll be doing this like just three times and yeah so that i can have more hairs on this side where i have more space so i can have more hairs that particular part because i do not want that part to be looking scanty so yeah this is what the guide looks like the guidelines looks like and this is how i'm going to be sewing just the direction of the hair that's how i'm going to be sewing and um, the weave on so i'm going to be using this pattern to just sew in the weave on and you cannot you can actually use this pattern for a machine sewing like if you want to sew the weave on if you want to sew the weaver with a machine you can use this pattern to do so you can use your hand to also do so like any of which you can just achieve like it's it, it's very very easy to follow this all right now it's time to start sewing in the hair i already told you guys the hair i'm using for this video so we just start stitching like so i love to when i want to start up the sewing or any sewing i love to like um you know push my needle through the weft of the hair first before i take it straight up to the cap or the curl roll like any of which like that's how i love to sew in or how i like to start sewing in any weft For this i'm doing the turnover method i will just stitch from the left side of the ear down to the right side and then move over to like when i want to i do i do not cut the weave on i just go ahead to turn the weave on over to the next side and continue to sew in and since i'm having like an inch space it's not like a normal human being's hair since i'm having like up to an inch i will just sew in the hair a little bit before i go ahead to turn it over like i sew it side a little bit before i go ahead to turn it over to the next line just so that it can be able to meet up with the next line and so that we don't have like an opening by the side that's um by the side that's after turning it over like an opening we don't want we don't want to have that so that's why i love to sew it a little bit just sew it a little bit before i you know take it over to the next line why sewing and then turn it over from there i don't know if you guys get what i mean i'm sewing in the hair like i said before i'm doing the turnover method and i'm sewing in double weft um this is so that i can have enough hair i do not want the hair to look scanty right i have a video on how to sew in uh if you're a beginner like yeah like you are new to this i'm going to leave the link in the description box below like detailed tutorial on how to sew in um like on your client's head and also how to do like for a wig a wig but if you want a new video on this topic you can let me know in the comment section below yeah if you are new like i said before like our newbies uh you can just go ahead to leave comments in the comment section below just let me know the topic you want to see like uh a detailed tutorial on how to do a corn roll a detailed tutorial on how to sew in for wigs and then if you even want to like learn how to sew for machine just let me know like if you want to sew on a machine like sewing machine you want to use a sewing machine to start sewing your wigs just let me know in the comment section below and i'll make a detailed tutorial on that just let me know any any topic at all
like a flip in front or a you know that curvy look that you guys saw from the beginning of the whole the intro you know that curvy look in front to achieve it i'm going to be using afro b and i would advise you to get like if you want to if you want like a black color if you want the hair to be black just get all color one or if you want to have like a little color, like a bright color, wine color or gold color, you can go ahead to do that. I made a mistake in this video. I I did not know that my Afro B was about, was, I did not know that my Afro B was um, color four. So, but I'm just going to make do with it like that. It was when I was already installing the hair that I find out. It's back to the main video or the main tutorial. So this um, Afro B, I'm just going to be stitching it or sewing it in like so. I'm I'm going to be sewing in about four weft so first we just go ahead to measure the weft first to make sure that um it's um same length with what i have in front that's you know the line b we created before so yeah we just um measure it first and then start stitching it but i'll start by stitching it in twos so i'll stitch the first two and then second two wefts hope you guys get it so first two weft first this is so that i don't have like any lump on the hair i want everything to be very flat so that's why i'm doing it in twos yeah and before adding the afro b or before stitching in or before sewing in the afro b you just want to make sure that the afro b is actually facing the tip of the afro b is facing up it's not facing down like it's not lappy it's not giving like a curve it's facing the curvy part is facing up this is so that it can give like that curvy nature and for this part i actually use like one bundle no not just one i, I didn't use one bundle i use like in a bundle i use like half of the bundle so it turns up to a bundle of afro b So once I'm done sewing the Afro B, we just continue sewing in the back side. That's the um, Daniela hair. So we'll just be doing this and also be doing the turnover method like so. So I'm sewing in the hair from the other side of the wig cap to where I have, where I actually installed the Afro B, which is the line B. And once I reach the part where i will have to flip over we'll just go ahead and just uh, flip it right back and continue to sew in and because the wig is a side pattern like i told you guys before i want to be installing more hairs to where i have uh, more space that's the right hand side so what i'm just going to be doing is just to follow the lines so where i have like a short line i uh, will sew to the end of that line that's the middle part and then flip the hair from that part and sew it on a line this is because if i continue to sew in same way like same quantity of hair on both sides i'm just going to have or i'm going to make the other side very scanty that's where i have more space i'm just going to make that part very scanty because the space is large and you guys know it's a side part so you need to sew in more hairs where you have enough space hope you guys get it
closing i wanted initially i wanted to do the round closing method but i i did i just changed my mind i said okay let me just make it look realistic a little bit just a little like a little little bit so yeah to make it look realistic we are going to be ventilating so for ventilating i'm attaching uh this closure net so i would just be attaching it with needle and thread just in case you don't want to ventilate you can do the round closing method but when you are doing the round closing method you have to start on time like you don't need to allow the whole space that's um the left and the right to get pretty close to each other so you need to just watch anyways if you guys want to see like another video of the round closing of this same hairstyle or this same wig style just let me know in the comment section and i will do like a detailed tutorial guys so after sewing in the lace closure or the lace net uh with needle and thread we just go ahead to start installing the weft of the hair we continue installing the weft of the hair about twice just so that it can bring the both side of the hair very close to each other and once i notice that the both side are getting pretty close to each other then we just go ahead to remove the wig cap from the mannequin head and then chop off the dumb cap that's the dumb cap material at that lace part we'll just be using my scissors to do so just so that when i'm done ventilating it will look very natural then take a chalk to just rule straight a line and that will serve like a guide that's uh, it's going to serve as a guide of the pattern then just start ventilating from there and um i started off the ventilating i started off with the crochet pin this small crochet pin i was not getting like a good result so i moved on to using the main ventilating needle to ventilate and the ventilating i'm using normal expression attachment i just decided to cut the expression attachment into like about four cut four and then i didn't fed out the tip i just said ventilating like so so yeah i have a detailed tutorial on how to ventilate i will leave the link in the description box below but if you are also interested in a new video like a new detailed video on how to ventilate just say hi or just say yes i need a new video <laughs> just let me know in the comment section below on this side we'll go ahead to ventilate on the other side of the wick up all right here is what it looks like i'm just a brushing and arranging the hair properly once properly like so and once i'm done with the brushing we we'll just go ahead to spray hairspray and this one is oishi Next, I'm using scissors to just remove all the flyaway hairs, uh, just so that everything will be so neat and very beautiful. Just let me know in the comment section if you can tell that this hair is a synthetic hair. Just let me know. Leave a comment. Let me know, guys. I'm sure this hairstyle or this wig is so perfect for the season. It's very perfect for Christmas. Nobody will even know that you are not wearing human hair because we cannot come and kill ourselves on top of human hair. So yeah, thank you so much. Here is the final look. Thank you for watching, for watching the video from beginning to the end. And uh, subscribe oh, if you haven't. Uh, give the video a big thumbs up. Do not forget to share the video to friends and family. And I would love to see all your comments. Like I'll be in the comment section waiting for all your comments to just arrive so that we can continue the interaction or continue talking chatting in the comment section so yeah bye <laughs>